Hello everyone, welcome to the tutorial number 9. So I again welcome you all to tutorial number 9. So let's get started with this tutorial. So this is the link github.com slash pro software development and under this link slash learn view you will get all the files related to the previous tutorial. So let's get started with today's tutorial. So title is the video is completing add to do method and rendering drum on front end. We will submit the data to the form and store them inside the JSON array. So let's get start today's tutorial. So like this is a continuation to the previous tutorial and we will complete the add to do method. So let's get started with this. Okay, I told we had created the method method add to do and this was a title. So we need to bind this title with the to do text for your simplicity. What we can do, we can copy this and let this instead of to do title let this be as a to do text so i hope this this is a, a pretty much good idea so this would keep the thing same now to bind them we need to use a functionality that is v model so v model is going to bind them and i have discussed earlier what is v model and i will give you the idea of the same right now also so like we need to bind them using v model that is v model is is equal to to do text okay and just for the simplicity what we can do we can type okay first i'll okay first i'll refresh the page so i'll show you that this has been binded so let me refresh the page okay yeah so let's get to this page yeah the refresh the page this it says script started now what we can do we can bind this and for the simplicity i can do one thing i can add a paragraph and i can uh, you typed typing this this is dot and we can add a typing to do text so what i'm going to show is this to do text has been binded with a js file that is this thing to do text which is empty so typing to do text and this is the model so let's refresh this and I'll, as soon as i type something you can see here live changes come here okay so I, so this is how now i have i have binded this and typing to do text and uh, i'll type to do text help me or something like this and you can see that this has been binded now to submit the form we would create a submit action and before that what we can do is like i'll show you one thing this the method uh, uh the like since this is uh, uh what you can do you can do auto complete is equal to off and we need to define a uh, add the rate submit add the rate submit dot prevent so this is like to prevent is to use to like uh prevent the default action so this is add the rate submit dot prevent is equal to add to do okay i hope this is fine and I'll add an add to do option here. Add to do. Okay. Now before I do something else, first I'll, I'll do console dot log and I'll type submit. Okay, submit it. Okay. And this is to ensure that this has been submitted. So let's refresh this page i'm inside my console and it's taking a, oh yeah so typing is working perfectly fine so this is this let me type submitted again did it submitted twice uh, i hope you can see this number two and this 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 three four five six so it's being submitted so this is perfectly fine so this is i wanted to show you that the submit method has been called and now what we can do the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, build a good logic so how we ensure the functionality 
and for the for the same what we can do uh so here you can see as we hit the submit button the counter keeps on work uh, keeps on going so we need to ensure the same in the add add to do method okay so uh so let's do one thing and let's yeah yeah so we can do method so let to do is equal to json object this dot id okay so this dot id and what i can do one thing i'll do one thing yeah id is equal to this dot id perfectly fine and title okay since we remove title so to do text was the name for that to do text is equal to this dot this dot to do text perfectly fine now done is equal to this dot done and we can add console dot log to do okay so let's first add something okay learn view so this is my first to do so this object has been created object done is issue false id is equal to one to do text is equal to learn view let's do one thing another add learn react so this is object with the id one done false to do text learn react so let me do another learn angular so here you can see object id is one done is false and to do text is learn angular so one thing we observe now all that as soon as we add a to do the id id is not increased okay so we need to ensure uh, that something uh, like we need to ensure that this id makes a the id is uh, like the id gets a new thing and then we can make sure that we are perfectly working fine with that okay so let's okay yeah so let's create a reset method so which will make ensure that we our method works perfectly fine so let's create a method reset okay and let's yeah so we need to add a comma tag so this would do this dot id plus plus this dot title okay this dot to do text is equal to null a null string and this dot done is equal to false so because we need to just i'm just sort of this like this is the mandatory part these two are option but just for the simplicity and the like we don't keep a bug so i i mean to like after like i'll now explain this console dot dot to do this now add it to do this dot to do dot push to do okay so i wanted to show you one thing now i'll call this dot reset okay so okay if this looks something confusing so i'll i'll do i'll change this to increment id increment id okay and okay let this be reset okay this looks perfectly fine okay now what i do let to do is equal to id is this dot id to do text is this dot to do text and done is equal to this dot done i print this to do i add this to do in the array i store it in an array then i call the reset function and what does this reset function do it increment the id and changes the to do text to default state and this dot done is marked as false 
So I'll show you one thing. Now I refresh the page. Now I'll add something. Add my to do, and I, I, you see, as soon as I add a to do, the this text box becomes empty, which was not happening earlier. The text box didn't become empty after adding a to do, and the ID didn't increment. So learn React. This ID too. Text box becomes empty. Learn, learn Angular. And I add it to do. Text box becomes and uh, text box becomes empty, and the ID becomes string. So I'll do learn Python. ID becomes four, and learn Python, and learn learn JS. So this ID becomes five, and learn JS. So we will continue in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial. So thank you so much. And we will learn how to render them on front end in the next tutorial. Thank you so much.